innovative solutions here with uh, continuing a series with Survivor Johnny on uh, different knots and different things. We're gonna, today we're going to learn how to store rope properly. So take it away. There's a lot of different ways. I like this one. Okay. First, now imagine this can be as long as you want. Sure. I, I carry about seven or eight foot just for, because it's so useful. All right, all I'm going to do is just loop the rope up. Okay. Let me zoom in a little bit here. All right. So I have the rope looped, right? Okay. I'm going to take this end, and I'm just going to flip it back over. Okay. Got that. All just right. flip it back Pinch over. it and do the bull knot that we just showed. Okay. Just keep wrapping. Uh -huh. Just wrap up your tail. I like this to be about an inch and a half long because that way I can loop it over my scissors and my kit yeah. and it, you know, it'll hang. Preparedness. <laughs> Failure to plan is planning to fail. Yeah. As you can see, I didn't quite give myself enough. Sure. So now I'm coming into a little bit of an issue because I've got to pull this back through here. Mm -hmm. But I'll work it through. It'll be all right. Pull that through. Try to keep my hands out of the way. Sorry, big fat fingers. That's all right. All right. I got it. Pulled that through. Now I'm going to pull this tab just a little bit. There we go. That down, and then I just take it and loop it over. and Yeah. And that's where it lives all the time, so I've always got it. I use it all the time. So Very cool. Very cool. So nice, easy way to store your rope without getting it all tangled. Easy way to untangle it and everything. So we appreciate Survivor Johnny. Please make sure you like, favorite, uh, subscribe to my channel. If you leave me any comments, I'll reply back as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.